first of all, let me just start by saying that money should not be the only reason you pick engineering. But if you're curious of what the engineering salary can be, well, in today's video, we are going to deep dive into the numbers that will help you make the smartest career decision for your life. We're breaking down engineering salary by major and by region. And let's be honest, where you work matters just as much as what you study. Before we jump in, let me tell you where the data came from. We're using data from the IEEE 2024 survey, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and multiple industry report. The IEEE survey covers thousands of engineers, so we're talking about real data of real engineering who are making real money. Okay, first let's start with the big picture. According to the latest data, engineers are doing pretty well for themselves. The median income in the US for engineering and technology professional hit $174,000 last year, and that's up by 5% from 2023. But here's what's interesting. The Bureau of Labor Statistics show that the overall engineering field is subject to have an employment growth of 195,000 jobs from 2023 to 2033. So the demand is there, but which major is crushing it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the national average salary of the top paying engineering major. At sixth place, we have mechanical engineering, which is a very versatile powerhouse of engineer. With the median salary of $102,000 as of May 2024, mechanical engineering offers something very unique. It's a very versatile major. These engineering work in everything from automotive to aerospace industry, from manufacturing to renewable energy. The job growth is about 11% projected from 2023 to 2033, which is much faster than the national average. And there's a kicker, mechanical engineers have some of the most stable career path because the industry need them. At fifth place, we have aerospace engineering. With the median salary of roughly around $135,000 as of May 2024, aerospace engineer design aircraft, spacecraft, and missile, the salary range typically span anywhere from $77,000 to $168,000. With companies like SpaceX and Boeing constantly innovating, these engineers are in high demand. The field projects 6% growth from 2023 to 2033, which is a lot faster than the national average with about 2,400 jobs opening projected annually. At fourth place, we have electrical engineering. The annual average pay for electrical engineering is around $111,000, with salary range anywhere from $50,000 to $168,000 per year. The range is huge because electrical engineering span everywhere from power grid to microprocessors. At third place, we have chemical engineering. With a median salary of roughly around $122,000 as of May of 2024, chemical engineering apply chemistry, physics, biology, and math to solve problems across industry from pharmaceutical to petroleum. These salaries range anywhere from $79,000 to $104,000. With an increasing awareness of sustainability, demanding for chemical engineer has been on a steady rise, with 10% projected growth from 2023 to 2033. At second place, we have computer and software engineering. I do want to make a note though, currently the software engineering or the big tech industry has shown a slowdown in hiring. Software engineer create algorithm and system that runs our digital world. The salary range is massive because the skill gap is real. From entry level position around $80,000 to senior roles pushing like 200k or more a year. And at first place we have petroleum engineering with a median salary of roughly around $136,000. Petroleum engineering constantly rank as one of the highest engineering field. These engineers develop method for extracting oil and natural gas and despite what you might think about renewable energy, the demanding for oil and gas is still very, very strong. Now that we talk about the national average salaries of each um, engineering major, let's go to the regional breakdown where location changes everything. Where you decide to live actually impacts your salary. So for example, let's talk about the West Coast, like California, Washington, and Oregon. 
The West Coast is where engineering makes a lot of money. But there is a catch. Washington is the highest paid state for engineering jobs, and here is why. We got the tech hub effect. Regions like Silicon Valley, Seattle, Portland, these aren't just city. They are like the engineering gold mine. But the catch is the cost of living is very high. Yes, you make like 20 or 40k more than the average engineer, but your rent might be double. You could pay anywhere from two to three thousand dollars for just a one-bedroom apartment. The job market is absolutely on fire. Tech companies are fighting over talent, and even traditional engineering firms are paying tech-level salary to compete with these companies. With that said, though, currently I think some of the big tech companies experience some slowdown in hiring because of the uncertainty in the market at the moment. Now let's get to the ranking. For the West Coast, the fifth place go to electrical engineering, with the salary range from 105k to 150k a year. Next, we have mechanical engineering, with the salary range from 110k to about 145k a year, because of the automotive and the aerospace engineering sector pay pretty good. At third place, we have chemical engineering, with the average salary range from 120k to 160k per year. Next, we have software engineer, who making anywhere from 130k to 250k per year, and the stock option that they have can push this way higher. At first place, we have petroleum engineers, who making anywhere from 140k to 180k per year. And we're talking Alaska oil field pay even more. All right, next region. Let's talk about the East Coast. City like New York, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and the DC area. The East Coast offer a perfect blend of high salary and industry variety. We got the financial tech industry, where Wall Street pay engineering like their investment banker. The aerospace industry. Company like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and some government contract industry. Another industry that is quite booming right now is the biotech industry. Boston Biotech Corridor is literally exploding. The job market is very stable and diverse. You got anywhere from startup to Fortune 500 companies, plus government contract that provide job security. So petroleum engineer, they can make anywhere from 130k to 165k a year. Software engineering, similarly, they making a lot of money from 110k a year to 200k a year. Aerospace engineer can make anywhere from 105k to 145k a year. Mechanical engineering and electrical engineering are similarly. They are making 105k to 135k per year,、um, with manufacturing company and defense contractor pay pretty well for mechanical engineering. Electrical engineering can make anywhere from 95k to 140k a year. Again, these are very very good salary for engineers. Okay, the last region that we're going to talk about is the Midwest. We got state like Texas, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio. The Midwest might be the smartest place for engineers if you want to live here. The job market is kind of like a quiet booming, while everyone at the Silicon Valley cities like Austin, Chicago, Detroit, Dallas are building the future of American manufacturing. Especially with the big push in manufacturing in USA, engineers in these cities are in high demand. So why getting an engineering job? In the Midwest region is a good idea. First of all, it's because of the low cost of living. Your dollar goes like 30 or 50 percent further. We got some big names in manufacturing industry like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors. Texas alone has more engineering jobs than most state combined. Petroleum engineer can make anywhere from 115k per year to 150k per year, but your mortgage compared to the East Coast or the West Coast are like half of the cost. For software engineer, they can make anywhere from 85k to 140k. With the purchasing fat power, that's like way higher than people who live in the West Coast and the East Coast. Mechanical engineer can make anywhere from 85k to 120k. With the manufacturing industries are on the rise right now, you have a lot more job security and financial stability. I work in manufacturing industry, and to be honest, I 
pretty enjoyed it. Chemical engineer can make anywhere from 95k to 130k per year. Electrical engineer can make anywhere from 85k to 115k per year. Okay, so after we learn about the west coast, the east coast, and the midwest salary range, let's get practical here. These salary aren't just number, they represent your life choices. If you're thinking petroleum engineer because of that 135k average, know that the industry work is often very remote. Can you imagine like working in the oil rig in North Dakota? Can you actually imagine yourself living there? And the hours can be very brutal. The industry is very cyclical, but if you can handle it, you will be set for life. So there is definitely a lot of challenging for a petroleum engineer who want to have some work-life balance or some stability in their life. Software engineer look attractive everywhere but the competition is very fierce there are so many software engineers who graduating every year and everyone and their cousins is learning to code on top of that we have ai industry is on the rise system level engineering and specialized feel like ai and where the money is for chemical engineering the midwest region might be your best bet because that's where the money is you got lower cost of living and here's something no one talk about Mechanical engineering have the best risk to reward ratio with 11% of projected growth and a median salary of about $102,000 per year. They are not the highest earner, but they have a very strong job security and industry flexibility. They can work anywhere from the automotive industry to aerospace industry, from manufacturing industry to renewable energy. No other major will give you that much flexibility. Here are what's happening right now that might affect your career in the next decade. The first thing is the green energy shift. Petroleum engineers are pivoting to renewable energy chemical engineers becoming sustainability expert the second thing is the AI integration and of course everyone is talking about this every engineering field is being disrupted by AI the engineer who understand both of their field and AI are commanding premium salary third thing is remote work reality software engineers can work like anywhere which is equalized the salary across regions mechanical and chemical engineers still need to be on site maintaining the regional salary difference there's also a big push for people to come back into office so they don't have like all of these empty buildings so you see a lot less remote jobs are available for engineers and they require you to be on site fourth thing to know is skill shortage the engineering field project employment growth of around 195,000 jobs but university aren't graduating enough engineers to fill them so this is definitely your opportunity first thing that you need to do is choose your major logically don't just follow the money look at the job growth the industry stability and your interests a petroleum who hate the field work won't last long no matter the salary secondly pick your region wisely Run the real number, that 150k salary in San Francisco might give you less spending power than 100k salary in Austin, Texas. Third thing to do is start building multiple skills. The highest paid engineers aren't just good at engineering, they are understanding business and they can communicate and often have coding skills regardless of their major. Last thing for you to do is start networking now. Join a professional society, attending engineering career fair, connect with engineers on LinkedIn. The best opportunity come through connection and not the job board. Drop a comment down below, tell me what region and what engineering major are you considering. And make sure to check out this video where I rank all of the mechanical engineering course. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.